is me Carly. Hey guys, it's Nico again, and this past week I tested out some Fashion Nova celebrity knockoff outfits. If you have an Instagram, chances are you've heard of Fashion Nova, you've seen a celebrity post about Fashion Nova, tagging Fashion Nova, hashtag Nova Babes. You've seen them somehow. They have 15 million Instagram followers and their whole game, I think, is to target the Instagram audience. I have never tried anything from Fashion Nova before, but I've seen about a million YouTube videos about Fashion Nova, people doing hauls, people testing out the outfits, so I was very intrigued. Recently, a lot of people have been talking about Fashion Nova and some of these other fast fashion companies for their stealing of designs, like they are making direct, obvious copies of celebrities' clothes. It's kind of hilarious because they like seem to sprout up overnight. Like I remember when Kylie Jenner's birthday party happened and the next day, like no joke, the next day they were selling that pink sparkly romper she wore on Fashion Nova. People were losing their minds because it's like, how do they do that? How do they just have it ready to be sold the next day? They didn't even know what she was gonna wear. I wanna see how close these celebrity knockoffs are to the real thing in terms of their design, the overall look of them. I wanna test out that the clothes are actually comfortable and fit my body well and aren't just cute on a certain type of figure. I also wanna make sure that the clothes are of good quality. I didn't go into this expecting some incredible quality that you'd find at a luxury store. This is fast fashion, so I expected the clothes to be pretty average. So I took all of these outfits home, I tried them on, and I'm gonna be breaking them down for you one by one. Let's go visit at home Nico, who's a lot more fun than this one. So we are here in my crib, in my humble abode. I'm gonna try on all five of the outfits and let you guys know if Fashion Nova is actually worth it or if it's all just hype and Nova babes and Instagram posts. So the first outfit I tried on was the 20 Fun Satin Dress. And this dress is a knockoff of the pink dress that Kylie Jenner wore for her 21st birthday party. It's me, Carly. In the words of one of my shooters, Nick, I look like a newscaster in a Dr. Seuss movie, and I feel like that's pretty accurate. The dress was really comfortable. It was stretchy. I didn't feel like I was being sucked in and I couldn't breathe. It looked like a very close knockoff to the Kylie dress. I was really shocked at how similar they look. The only really weird thing about that dress was that it came with the sash just like Kylie's did, but uh, I had no idea how to tie it. How am I supposed to do this? It's like a... What? There was like no manual. I didn't know how to figure it out. So I kind of just did something and left it there. But other than that, I thought it was a really good dress. Even though I wouldn't wear this dress again, I have to say, I think that it was worth the money only because of how close it looked to the real thing, and I actually liked the quality of it. I felt comfortable in it, I felt good in it, so I think I would recommend buying this one. So the next knockoff I tried on also has the celebrity's name in the dress title. It's the Selena Satin Dress, and it's a rip-off of a dress that Selena Gomez wore on the red carpet. I've literally never had a dress this cute that had pockets on it. It is reminiscent of like something I would have worn to homecoming when I was like 15, but I don't know, I thought it was cute. I liked it, it's very simple, and it also felt super good. Like I was comfortable in it. It has adjustable straps, so you can kind of maneuver it based on your chest situation. In terms of quality, I do think that this dress was well made. I liked it, it didn't feel like cheap, but, Whatever the material was, is it real satin? I don't even know, sateen? Whatever it's made out of, really wrinkly, really annoying, and you probably need to take a pocket steamer with you wherever you go. This is a really cute dress. I would buy this and wear this in real life. I did buy this, and I will wear it in real life. Next, I tried on the Kendall ruched jumpsuit. So Kendall wore the 
original jumpsuit to the Met Ball, and she looked amazing. I thought she looked really, really good. I don't know why I thought I could pull off this outfit, but I bought it anyway. <laughs> I would probably like this jumpsuit if I was like Kendall and thin and very tall. She's probably like a foot taller than me. It's just not very short person friendly. The whole effect of the jumpsuit is to have these exaggerated like long pant legs, but it just, it, on me it just looked ridiculous. I think that I looked really dumb. The top part was not bad. I thought the top was really pretty. I thought it felt nice. This is another outfit that was not uncomfortable. My biggest qualm with this jumpsuit is that it was very sheer, very see-through, and you could literally see everything going on down there. I think the quality of the jumpsuit, uh, it was a little on the cheaper side. It kind of felt like Halloween-y, like just a Halloween costume. It wasn't great, so I wouldn't recommend buying that one. The next knockoff I tried on was the She Bad Ruffle Dress, which was supposedly a knockoff of a dress that Cardi B wore to accept an award. This one was probably the most disappointing in terms of the celebrity look alike It pretty much looked nothing like that dress, but you can see the inspiration. It's just a big floofy, tool dress. This literally feels like a rainbow Mandy knockoff of a celebrity outfit. You can hide a little butt though, which is cute. My butt could be here, it could be there. Who knows? Not in this dress. It was a lot of maneuvering up here to get it to fit right. Um, I am on the smaller chest side of the spectrum, so it was really annoying to try to make it fit me because once I did, it felt too tight. I was getting uncomfortable. It's a lot of tool. There was just so much going on, and I think it was probably my least favorite, which is shocking. That Kendall jumpsuit was not good. The color was also completely off to Cardi's original dress. This one was, it was more of like just a dark burgundy, whereas Cardi's was like plummy. Was it like a rich purple, deep purple? So. I think across the board, this dress was just like a no for me. I hated it. Last but not least, I tried on a dress inspired by the Duchess herself, not Fergie, the other one, Meghan Markle, on her wedding day. This is the dress that she wore to her reception. The name of this dress is the Royal Debut Dress. Like, they're not even hiding it. <laughs> This actual photo is on their website. Like they show what they're, how are they not sued all the time? I don't understand. I think this dress worn with the right undergarments, the right shapewear would look so good. I loved this dress. This dress was also just like maybe the tiniest bit see-through, but way more forgiving than the Kendall jumpsuit was. The quality was also really good. I liked the way the dress looked more expensive than what it was. The neck is super comfortable too. Anytime I have something on my neck, I, I feel like a, a little small child is like trying to kill me. Um, this feels pretty good. In terms of how much it looks like Megan's actual dress, um, it's similar. Definitely not the same design. Uh, you can definitely see the differences when you're looking at photos of the dress online versus photos of Megan on the way to her reception. They're just like very subtle differences, but like the overall effect I feel like you're gonna get is similar. If I had to pick a favorite, which I'm gonna pick two, I'm gonna pick two favorites, I would go with the Selena satin dress and the Royal Debut dress. I think these two outfits were very similar in terms of the actual design, but they were also great quality. The She Bad Ruffle dress definitely disappointed in every category of my judging. It was the most uncomfortable. It was probably the worst fit, honestly, out of all of them. And it was also bad quality. I just think it looked as cheap as it was, which is, that's never good, you never want that. Listen, I don't know what kind of 
witchcraft goes on at Fashion Nova, Fashion Nova headquarters with all the Nova babes. But I genuinely didn't hate this experience and I thought some of the outfits were pretty great for the price I paid for them. I think the clothes that I tried on really do have the possibility of fitting a lot of different types of people, which is a great thing. I would try it again is what I'm saying. I'm saying, I think I'm a Nova babe. <laughs>